All right. Welcome back, guys. So, just got home early morning, and Sega decided to grace us with uh, 10 more Sega Genesis uh, mini games. We're almost there. We almost know if this is going to be a great console to buy or if it's just going to be another dead. Um, so far, I think even if they have a bunch of flops at the last 10, it's probably still going to be a great console. As long as the, uh, the emulation is great, we should be good. Um, so yeah, let's go over the games real quick. And so first, you know, obviously Sega Genesis Mini, you probably know this by now. Um, three button controller, kind of unfortunate. Uh, the first 10 games, Echo the Dolphin, Castlevania, Space Harrier, Shining Force, Dr. Robotnik, uh, Comic Zone, Turtle Jam and Earl, Sonic the Hedgehog, Ultra Beast, and Gunstar Heroes. Okay, not a bad little pack. The next 10 on the list. Castles of Illusions, World of Illusions, Thunder Force 3, uh, Super Fantasy Zone, Shinobi, Streets of Rage 2, one of my favorites on the list, uh, Earthworm Jim, Sonic 2, Contra Hard Corps, and Landstalker. So, I think we have a very good list going on here, right? So. Let's uh continue the list. All right, the first five. Okay, Beyond Oasis. I don't know that one, so that one's a little uh interesting to me. Um, I've never seen it, so it's kind of uh it's kind of new. So uh yeah, Beyond Oasis. Largest adventure game ever for the Genesis. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Next up. Ghouls and Ghosts. Okay. I like that game. It's, you know, I've never been able to beat any of them. So, or beat this one. So, uh, all right. Not a bad choice. Definitely something I want to play. So that's the thing. Even if I haven't heard of the game, or never played the game, as long as it's something that's like, all right, I don't have it either, that adds to me value to it. Uh, as long as the anim animation, animation, El emulation, wow, it is good, and it almost like playing it on the real console, then I'm in. I prefer to play on real consoles, unless the uh, emulation is almost perfect, uh, because I feel like things might be a little bit harder, or just doesn't look right. So, Ghouls and Ghosts. Okay, next up, Alex Kidd. Okay, I like the Alex Kidd games. They're they're mindless, fun, or frustrations, depending on your thoughts of the gameplay. Uh, but all right, another game I don't own. So next up, Golden Axe. Ah, uh, yes, this game needed to be on there. This is one of my favorite beat 'em up games. Uh, Streets of Rage, obviously another great one. River City Ransom from the NES, great beat 'em up. But Golden Axe was one of the first ones I ever played, so it has a, a spot right there on my heart. So that's awesome. Next up, ooh, Fantasy Star 4. Uh, I like this one. Um, I've never played this, so playing it from Sega, I like it. Uh, is it a system seller for a lot of people? I guess if you're a Fantasy Star fan, yeah, probably. But it's a great addition, so awesome. Next up. Street Fighter 2, Special Championship Edition. Um, I'm not an expert on Street Fighter. I like playing Street Fighter games. So um, my one question is, don't you need six buttons to play the game properly? Uh, leave a comment if you know. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I feel like this could be an issue. And might be a little bit hard to play for certain people and not worth having on there if if you can only if the six button is the best way to play. Maybe they release an extra controllers. Who knows? I think they should have just did six buttons out of the gate. You know, an extra ten bucks, six buttons. Unless you can buy an extra controller for ten bucks, then it's the same thing. So okay. Street Street Fighter two. Uh, I like it. Uh, I'm not sure which edition is the best, but any Street Fighter game for me will be fun to have on there as long as three buttons works fine. Okay, 
Mega Man, The Wily Wars. Okay, I like this too. Uh, it's another Mega Man game I don't have. Um, I've played a couple for the NES. The second one's probably my favorite. And the third one's nice too. I've never played this one, so that's awesome. Uh, not much more to say. Okay. Alright. So, I'm a big fan of Sonic the uh, Spinball. I just recently beat it for the first time uh, last summer. I've had it since my childhood, but it's always been a game I've had a hard time getting past. And I finally sat down and cheated, kind of, to beat it. Uh, so, yeah, save states at the beginning of every level. Yeah, I consider at this point too many games to play, so it's fun to be the fun that I actually have to play the whole game with a little bit difficulty and a little bit less difficulty. So I like it. Does it need to be on this list? Nah, they may they may have been able to put a different game on there that might have pleased more people. I think a lot of people will try the game out, play the first level, and be done with it. I don't. I've never really thought of anybody who's really into Sonic Spins Ball, so. Probably the only one so far on this list where it's like, eh, it's a niche group of people. You know, people who like just pinball games, I guess. Alright, next up, Vector Man. Uh, I like the way Vector Man looks. I've uh, never beat the game. I got it for Christmas when I was a kid. Uh, I liked the way it looked. It was fun to play, but it didn't really hook me. So, I think this is going to be more nostalgia for some people. Maybe not one that people pick up very often, but who knows? Maybe at this point, I try it again and I like it. Alright, last up. You can see it. I can see it. Wonder Boy in Monster World. I think they had to have this game on here. I mean, it's kind of like their original like hit game for their Sega Master System, I think. I look at Wonder Boy as like their Mario. I guess you could say Alex is the kid, too. Um, but I always felt Wonder Boy was a better game. More like Mario meets Legend of Zelda 2-ish. Um, so having this is awesome. Now, with that being said, we have 30 games now. I mean, yeah. 30 games, right? Yeah, okay. 30 games now, and the list is looking good. The only games I think I would personally take off because I'll probably never play them on here, or... I'll play them once, and all the other games will take my attention, is Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. I like puzzle games, but not enough to want to have it on the console to play. I guess, you know, it's not for me. It's for everybody. So you want to have a good variety of games. Um, but with that said, if I had to take a game off, that would be it. Um, next up, probably, I would just say, Probably just Sonic Spinball and maybe Vector Man. Um, but Vector Man might be one of those games I play and then I end up liking. So who knows? But I know Spinball and um, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine are probably the last games I'm going to play on here because there's so many other good games to keep me occupied. And if I get to the point where I beat all the other ones, I'm probably just moving on. I probably won't even bother with those games because there's tons of puzzle games you can play on your phone that are very similar so yeah this list is great now we got to think of 10 more games uh, I think I'll do that in another video the final 10 with this list I'd be happy buying it right now well I already did buy it but I mean if I had to buy it and there was no more games this would be the uh, 30 that I'd be completely acceptable even with those two games that I'd take off because really that's just I won't play them but for overall I think this covers, like, everybody. Uh, unless there's some games you guys hope they put on that they're strain or, like, maybe non-known games, like, you know, Hidden Gems, as they're called. Uh, maybe. All right, guys. Uh, great news this morning. I like seeing that. Ten more games to go. I can't wait. Uh, leave a comment. Are you happy with the next ten? Which ones do you want added on? And uh, are you buying one or not? All right, guys. Have a good night. Keep on gaming, and I'll catch you next time.